Welcome, this is a recorded session of the Post-Quantum Cryptography Conference of the PKI Consortium. This conference would not have been possible without our sponsors in Trust, HID Global, and PQ Shield, and the organizational support of the Post-Quantum Cryptography Working Group of the PKI Consortium, in particular in Trust, Logius, TNO, and CWI. I'm going to, I apologize already for this, and I will apologize again because I know I'm going to mess this up. Uh, Alsami uh, Tuino, close, is from uh, SAP. He's a uh, cryptography researcher at SAP, lives in uh, Karlsruhe, uh, Germany. He holds a PhD in uh, uh, applied cryptography under, and, uh, from the uh, Passu, uh, or University of Passu in Germany. Uh, when he's not doing that, He's got a very interesting list of uh, things that keep him entertained that uh, I'm hoping there's going to be some questions on one in particular. Uh, things that, uh, that he enjoys researching, and, uh, and uh, I'm going to guess you've got a garage full of dismantled uh, electronics uh, just, just reading this. Um, enjoys uh, applied cryptography, particularly prose quantum crypto, and computation on encrypted data using tools such as garbled circuits, uh, secret sharing, and uh, homomorphic encryption. So, uh, welcome. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the introduction. Can you hear me? So, yeah. Um, so we we've, we've had a very good talks today. So that uh, in the last talk uh, will be a summary of what we had uh, today, uh, which I think is still good because uh, this means that we we have something to bring home. Um, but yes, I will. Uh, I will also ex explore. Uh, challenges associated to post quantum cryptography. Um, um, and I will relate, relate those challenges to uh, standardization and implementation, uh, internet protocol, and integration and migration. So, cryptography is harder than it looks. This is from Bruce uh, Schneier. Uh, we can uh, define cryptographic system uh, precisely and analyze them. Uh, but for crypto to work, uh, it needs to be written in software. Uh, this software must uh, run on large, uh, complex system, IT system. Uh, but also, we also need to uh, to replace cryptography as soon as possible when it's broken. The story of MD5 shows that it's not that easy. Uh, MD5 was introduced in uh, 1991. Uh, two years later, uh, the funds, uh, there were pseudo collision find, uh, found in the, in, in, in the system. And the, in 1996, they were concerned about the security of MD5. In 2004, uh, they actually fo uh, found a collision. And this has been used in 2008 and 2012 to, um, to launch attacks. Um, and uh, for example, in 2008, uh, attacker. Uh, Attackers were able to use to generate a rogue certificate. Um, another reason why cryptography is harder, it's um, uh, software has uh, errors, flaws. Uh, so uh, do cryptographic uh, software. Uh, for example, um, uh, PS3 or Infineon has been hacked because there was flaws in the in the key generation algorithm that the uh, in the key generation algorithm for um, ECDS, ECDSA and RSA uh, that the, uh, the adversary used to recover the private key. So, now, um, ECDSA and RSA are used in the, in the internet by, 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 by enterprise to secure emails, to secure web server, uh, VPN, and so on. And uh, we, we are all here today because we know that those algorithms are uh, vulnerable to uh, to quantum attacks, so we need to uh, we need to um, to replace them. And one of the first challenge that that we have was we need new schemes. We need we need a new standard. And NIST has done a very uh, great job at standardizing so, some of schemes. Uh, the standardization the standardization started with uh, more than eighty schemes. And ended uh, uh, after three rounds, uh, NIST, uh, NIST uh, selected four schemes. Uh, these are the, the ones here uh, that will be standardized. Um, four other schemes were supposed to uh, to move to the to the to the, to the next round to the, to the fourth round, 
and uh, once games sank, uh, get broken even before the, 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 the fourth round started. On the other side, we have a so-called stateful uh, hash space signature, which are standardized by the IETF and also supported by, by NIST. Um, they, have, um, they, they, is, they, they, are, they are they have proven security, uh, but the problem is they have state. This means that uh, after each after each signature, we need to update uh, the state. So this shows that uh, designing new schemes is not uh, is not uh, is, is not uh, it's not an easy task. Um, then um, NIS was not. Uh, uh, NIS uh, was not satisfied with the with the signature because uh, we don't have general purpose one, so the uh, the, the call for new uh, for new schemes, uh, and 80 schemes has been uh, more than, more than 80 schemes uh, more than 30 schemes has been submitted, and as you can see here, uh, almost half of the schemes uh, already have some some issues if they're not uh, already completely completely broken. I think there will be talk tomorrow about the. Uh, about uh, about those schemes. So this shows that uh, post quantum crypto is still immature, and this is a challenge for for application for for enterprise uh, because they need to uh, to, to check uh, um, uh, whether it makes sense to switch now or to wait a little bit and so on. We also have different players. Uh, we have the uh, different standardization bodies. We have the NSA. Uh, is supporting NIST. Um, they have a timeline for standardization uh, where some schemes are already recommended by uh, 2024 and uh, mandatory by, by 2030. Um, we have in, in Europe, we have the BSI in Germany uh, or NC in France. Um, they, are, they are also support, supporting NIST, but they have. Uh, they have other recommendations. For example, they recommend uh, they recommend uh, Frodochem or um, or Machilis, which um, Frodochem is, is no is no longer in this in this standardization. And also, uh, they are um, they are in favor for using hybrid, which uh, NSA is not. Um, China also started uh, and also completed already their own standardization. I think uh, um, uh, uh, Russia as well. I couldn't find any information about uh, about the standardization of uh, of Russia. So this means that uh, we have different players. Uh, we might we might end up having different standards, which could uh, be a challenge for inter for interoperability. So we also have challenge challenges related to to implementation, and um, first of all, we have different uh, PQC families. Different set of schemes. We have code base. We have azogeny. We have hash, uh, uh, hash base, uh, lattices, uh, multivariate, and and other families. For example, uh, there, are, there are schemes using uh, so-called MPC in the head. There are schemes using symmetric uh, or zero knowledge proofs, and so on. And all those families are quite different from from each other, which means that uh, it's difficult to master. Uh, to master uh, uh, different schemes. Nowadays, we can, uh, it's, uh, it's possible to master uh, D, uh, DSA and, and, and RSA, but here it's a little bit difficult. Um, it's much more, uh, uh, much more challenging. So this means, this, this means that for implementers, um, they, they will have challenge to implement, uh, to implement those, uh, those schemes. The schemes, um, the post-quantum schemes also have much more parameters uh, for R for RSA or DSA. It's enough to uh, to choose the the key length, and then uh, the parameters can be generated. Um, for for DSA, it's, it's, it's similar. Um, one of the parameters can be the, the is, is the, the hash function, but it's not used for generating the keys. It's used later for for, for the signature. On the other side, we have these are the list of parameters for. Um, for Divitium. So we have at least 12 parameters um, and they all have impact on the, um, on the security. How about the complexity of the, of the schemes? So um, RSA is pretty easy. It's enough to, 
um, you, ju you just need to choose two primes number, multiplies them to get the modulus, and then you can choose the public key and compute uh, the private key. DSA is similar. These are all basic arithmetic operations. These are, these are, they are, um, which are much more, uh, which are much more manageable. On the other side, this is how uh, the key generation of, uh, um, of Delicium looks like. So in the specification, NIST, uh, NIST uh, put these algorithms where some of the functions, some of the, the methods are not shown in, in the slide, uh, but they are, they, are, they are defined in the, in the, in the standard. And you can also see that the public key and private key are much more, much more complex. They, are, they have much more values and so on. So if, um, if, uh, uh, if it's easy to, to, to have flows in software for, for the key generation of RSA or DSA as, as explained in the, in the beginning, then in the case of Delithium, it's even, uh, even, more, uh, even more difficult. And we heard today that uh, uh, Falcon is even more uh, 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 complicated to, uh, to implement. So we also have protocols. So when you have schemes, we need to uh, to to integrate that to integrate these schemes in uh, in internet protocol. We all know uh, we all know uh, the, the the protocols TLS, uh, SSH, and so on. Um, those protocols use cryptography to to ensure security, to ensure confidentiality, um, integrity, uh, authenticity, and so on. But they have two basic requirements on on the cryptography. So. The, the operation need to be fast enough because we don't want to to wait too long when we are brought, when we are uh, using uh, when we are uh, surfing on the internet. We don't want to, to wait too long when we are doing uh, online banking. Uh, the other requirement is size. So they, they have specific size for for uh, for packets. So if the the message is too long, then um, then the the the, the then, then we have to uh, to we need to to do more on trip to send to send the message. So, uh, for post quantum crypto, uh, the the the, the runtime is not that big problem. So, um, the, the the overhead is not significant significantly greater uh, 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 greater than than existing existing schemes. So sometimes they're even more faster, but for the size it's different. Um, so here. Both we have the size uh, of public key, public key, private key, and, and ciphertext for RSA, ECDS, uh, ECDH, and, and Kyber. And here we can see that the, the size are almost, almost uh, twice as, uh, as, as large. On the other side, we also have uh, the size for signature. If, um, on the top, we have RSA, ECDSA, and here we have Sphinx. So we can we see here how large is the the signature of, of Sphinx. Um, Delicium is recommended for, for TLS, but we see that uh, the, 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 the size is still very, 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 very large compared to, to RSA and ECDSA. So one of the protocol uh, that uh, Bas mentioned also, also before is TLS. So it is used to secure the communication on the internet. So, <coughs> um, sorry. Um, so uh, the, the, the client and the server need to run a handshake protocol to negotiate um, encryption parameters. Um, the, the, server can, the, the server can authenticate to the client or mutually the client, the client as well to the server. This requires signature. Um, and then they can exchange, uh, um, they, can ex they can run a key exchange or key encapsulation to, uh, to exchange symmetric, uh, symmetric keys. So um, in, in our work, we, we had a look at Postgres, uh, which is a client-server uh, database. So the, 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 the server hosts the, the database, and the client can send queries to the, the, the client can connect to the, to the server, authenticate using a password, and start uh, sending queries. So if the client uh, needs uh, the communication, to, the communication to, to be secure, he, can, he will start the, 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 the process with uh, negotiating um, uh, TLS, uh, TLS parameters. After that, all the encryption, all the, 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 all the, the communication is encrypted. I will come back to, to, our, to, to our experiment on Postgres later. So 
Now, we also have challenges with migration and integration. And uh, one of the first one is, uh, I will call it quantum uncertainty. So we've heard now uh, today about the so-called um, Mosca theorem. So, and the, the theorem is, uh, is uh, stipulate if x plus y is larger than z, then you need to worry. So x is the, is the time that, uh, is the remaining time that our data need to be secure. Uh, y is the time that we need, that we need to, uh, to, to, to complete the migration. And Z is the time that we, uh, uh, that we need to have quantum computer. The problem is no one, uh, no one can tell exactly what is the value for X, what is the value for, for Y, what is the value for, for Z. So we, we know that uh, so many experts uh, expert exp uh, uh, estimate that maybe in 10 years, maybe in 20 years, we will have quantum, quantum computer, but no one is sure. Um, when exactly this will happen. It can even, ha it can even happen uh, 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 earlier. Um, we, um, we, uh, we, we saw that uh, post-quantum uh, crypto is immature, so uh, schemes have been broken, has been bro broken even, uh, even uh, they, were, they, they were considered to be promising schemes like, uh, like Psych or Rainbow. Therefore, the recommendation is to use uh, hybrids. So this is combining pre-quantum and post-quantum crypto. This means that uh, for key encapsulations, we, uh, we, we, uh, we run, uh, uh, we, do, uh, we do RSE or, or Diffie-Hellman and Kyber, and then we use, a, uh, we use um, a chem combiner, for example, a KDF to, uh, to combine, to combine, to combine the, the, the generated keys. For signature, we need to sign um, the message, the, 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 the document or the message or the certificate with two signatures, one, one with pre-quantum and another one with, uh, with post-quantum. Now, the, the, problem, the problem here is, um, so even if we can't, uh, we can't uh, compute this operation in parallel, we still need uh, more energies uh, to, to do this, 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 this computation. And also, uh, key exchange requires sending the public key to the from the client to the server. So, which means that which means that uh, uh, the, the the overhead of the of the of the communication uh, uh, is larger for hybrid. And for signature for, for signature, we need to send uh, two two signatures and two set of certificates. So there are even there are there are more challenges. For example, crypto agility. Uh, so now uh, the, the application that we have now that relies on crypto, we're not uh, we're not implemented uh, with crypto agility in mind. For example, uh, algorithms are hard coded in the uh, in the source code, or crypto parameters are hard coded in the source in the source code such that it's not it's not uh, possible to to switch to, to new schemes without uh, di disrupting the the uh, uh, the system. Um, the other one is crypto inventory. So before we can, so we, we, we heard, we've heard about crypto inventory a lot uh, today. Before we can uh, migrate, we need to know uh, where is crypto, what crypto, uh, which are the, uh, which, at which, which security level. And for that, we cannot do that manually. We need, uh, we need uh, appropriate tools to, to automate this kind of, uh, this kind of, uh, of computation. Uh, which uh, I'm not sure that we have now. So uh, there are there are also new requirements from the from the exist from the post quantum schemes. So um, some schemes have decryption failure, uh, even if the probability is very is very slow, um, it's, it's very small, uh, but still they have decryption failure. Some schemes have uh, state, um, which means that the 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 the, 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 the the private key need to be to be updated after each, each uh, signature, and we, we and we talk of, we also talk about the, 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 the size. Now going back to, to post quantum to uh, to Postgres. So as I said, it says uh, Postgres is um, client server uh, client server uh, database. Um, so in the architecture of Postgres, there is a backend interface for the server, and there is a frontend interface for the client. And both rely on OpenSSL, 
uh, to, uh, to, 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 to perform uh, cryptographic um, operations. So uh, what we do, uh, uh, we use uh, a, a version of, of OpenSSF from the Open Quantum Safe community. So uh, the, the, the OQS community, they, they, they have uh, a lib, lib OQS library where they integrated, um, where they integrated uh, all algorithms that are now that are under standardization at, at NIST, and the, the build on top of the, the integrated this library in, uh, in existing in some existing cryptographic library like OpenSSL, OpenSSH, and so on. So uh, we we thought that uh, using this version of, of, of OpenSSL will have it, will be enough to uh, to make the communication between the client and the server, uh, the uh, Postgres client server, secure. Um, Turns out that it was it was not that easy. Uh, for uh, for signature, we 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 just needed to to configure the system properly, and uh, generate appropriate uh, certificate. Uh, for key exchange, it wasn't the case because uh, Postgres specifically requires to use uh, ECDH ECDH so elliptic curve diffie Hellman, and this is hard coded in the in the source code of the in the backend interface and in the interface so um, therefore uh, we, uh, we, we 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 needed to um, so as, as I said before we, we, we didn't have any crypto crypto discovery tools so we needed to uh, reverse engineering to detect where um, where is elliptic curve in, in the code and uh, and then to make the to make the code to allow the code to accept other key exchange algorithms and uh, then we were able to uh, to perform some, some evaluations uh, that you can see here. Um, though this is a comparison uh, uh, between ECC and quantum safe in the, in the in the land setting. And you can see here, for example, in the in the, in the middle here that uh, Delizium and Kyber they are they are uh, they are pretty fast compared to the to the to the pre quantum and even for larger security level they are even more faster. The situation in the in the land is different. So um, in the land, uh, Delizium and Kyber are no longer faster. Uh, sometimes even uh, they, are, they, are, they are slower. So for larger security level, they are, uh, they are slower. Um, we, uh, we suspect that this has to do with the, with the larger, uh, larger communication size that, that, that you can see here. So um, here at the bottom, we have um, ECTH and RSA, um, and on the top we have uh, uh, we have post quantum, uh, we have TLS with post quantum post quantum security. So we expect that because of the size of the of the communication, um, we need uh, the, 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 the 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 connect the, the, the connection the handshake connection needed to to uh, needed more round trip, which resulted in the in, in the in the worst performance in the land setting. We uh, we also did some experiments with uh, stateful hash base uh, signature and integrate, integrating them in uh, Jar Signer. This is a software. This is a software um, for signing Jar, jar package. And as I said, stateful uh, signature means that uh, we need to to update the state after so after each signature. So there is a state management that needs to be uh, to be done, and also. In the uh, in the crypto API Bosi Castle that we use, uh, Bosi Castle provided provides um, a state aware a state aware signature class, but the the, the non state aware signature signature class is still in the application, which uh, um, uh, the the programmer can mistakenly use, uh, making the uh, the scheme unsecure. Uh, the state management uh, required to to load the, the, the to load the, the keys in, into the memory, sign, update, and, and store it again. But the problem is if um, if a software if a software bug or a mistake happens uh, before it is safe, then the state is not uh, is not updated. So these are some some kind of challenges that uh, that programmer can uh, um, can do. While integrate while implementing uh, these schemes, so we also we also had problem with uh, 
hard-coded algor hard algorithm and um, other problems related to serialization, which, uh, uh, which has resulted into invalid uh, signature after updating and storing. So the, um, my, my takeaway um, from this talk is, uh, so we have challenges related to standardization. There are different players um, which, uh, which can lead to different standards uh, and can lead to in in interoperability problems. We have uh, post-quantum crypto is, not, uh, is, is still immature. Um, at, the implementation, at the implementation level, uh, the, the scheme are complex. Um, they have too many parameters, algorithms are complex. Um, the, post the, 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 the diversity is good for, uh, for security, but it, is, it, it also means that the, the effort of implementing them is, also, uh, is, uh, is greater. At the internet protocol level, um, we have requirement for runtime uh, and for packet size, which could be challenging as well. Um, the, the integration is also, there are also challenges. Uh, we, we, we saw the, the, the Mosca theorem, which are, which are called post quantum uncertainty. And there are also, uh, there are challenges with, with hybrid because it, 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 it's increased the, 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 the overhead. Uh, uh, the, the software that you have now, they are not, are not crypto agile. We have crypto inventory. We have new requirements for, from, from, from the new scheme and, and so on. So um, my, my, the recommendation, uh, I think we, we also uh, heard about the recommendation uh, from, from NIS, from DSI, from ANSI. So st stay tuned, visit uh, NIS PQC website. Uh, the, the Center of Excellence of NIS has a migration website. Um, attend PQC event like this one. Um, uh, NIS also uh, run PQC events uh, regularly. Uh, start preparing now. Um, there are various APIs that, that you can use. There are uh, um, API from the, from the Open Quantum Safe and other APIs. Um, start the crypto inventory and think about crypto agility. And start with a migration plan. Um, so there are recommendations from, from NIS, from, from BSI, and so on. And this concludes, I conclude my talk with uh, quoting uh, uh, NIS and CCOA, which sum summarizes to we need to start preparing now. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Uh, any questions in the room? The magic cube, voila. Everybody wants to hold the magic cube so everybody has to come up with a question, right? Thank you very much. Uh, I think my question is your experience around API supports for the uh, PQC methods so you, there are a lot of methods available but are the api supports available for those things uh api available for what for uh doing the encryptions and you know the method you did for the postgres uh, are there apis available for uh, integrating yeah. i know for uh for, for integrating dots uh, because because then it will be easy to uh to to, to just use the api so uh for for integration you need to uh so the, the, the API the API provides you the, the crypto the, 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 the crypto uh, implementations, huh. uh, but in your own in, in your own code you need to find uh, you need to find uh, where is my code using uh, pre quantum crypto, huh. and you need to decide what what uh, at what at which security level, and and then uh, you need to to choose the appropriate uh, post quantum schemes. Thank you very much. Any other questions? have any on mind? No. All right, so I think with that, thank you again. Thank really you. Really appreciate it. In today's complex, fast-paced world, you need a partner who can help secure your digital transformation so you can drive your business forward confidently. Someone who can fine-tune and integrate the secure technologies that enable mobile identities, digital payments, and a hybrid workforce. You need a partner who will have your back so you can stay focused on the road ahead and accelerate your organization's growth. Entrust, securing a world in motion.